नमस्कार वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ इमेजिनेशन येस यू गेस्ट इट राइट दिस इज आवर ड्रॉइंग सेशन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट चिल्ड्रन ऑल दैट यू ऑब्जर्व अराउंड यू मे इट बी लिविंग और नॉन लिविंग कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू ग्रुप्स सिमेट्रिकल और ए सिमेट्रिकल ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ रिमेम्बर वन थिंग whether the object is symmetrical or asymmetrical they look nice because they always maintain balance or they are perfectly balanced for example trees doesn't matter they are small or big trees can stand straight in heavy wind also trees can maintain their balance with the help of its roots and shape of branches the growth of roots and branches are equal by all sides just imagine children what will happen if the tree will grow by one side only simple tree will fall down it's an example of asymmetry now another example is of one more natural object this is most familiar and studied object by us since our birth the structure of this object is also very symmetrical and perfect guess children what is it right it is our body if you observe our body you will find all body parts are perfectly symmetrical like eyes eyebrows nose ears hands finger legs feet etc just imagine children what will happen if our one eye is bigger than another one ear is bigger than another one hand is longer than another one leg is shorter than another oh my god that's horrible it will look very ugly so always remember an importance of balance in drawing if you want to draw any object and you want your drawing to look nice you must maintain the balance of an object or your drawing now question is how can we get or find this equality or symmetry and answer is we can find this symmetry with the help of center point and middle point what is the meaning of center point and middle point let us find an answer with very simple origami activity take one paper match their two sides by folding the paper perfectly press the fold edge with finger gently now open the fold you will find a straight line and two equal parts or two same size rectangles on two sides of the line children this is the center line and if you will see on the edge line of paper where the center line starts and ends these are middle points of the edge line center line made two equal parts of a paper and middle point made two equal parts of the edge lines fold the paper again on same line and make 
rectangle. Fold this rectangular paper and match the edges to each other again. You will find two lines are crossing each other and four equal parts of a page. Now there are four middle points on four edges. One, two, three and four. One new fifth point also we got where these two lines crossed each other. And children, this is the center point of paper. Point is equally distant from all sides. A point is equally distant from all sides is called a center point. A point which makes two equal parts, a point which makes two equal parts of a line is called middle point. After this, we will see how we can make four equal parts of a page without folding a paper with pencil. But in next session, Till goodbye and Namaste.